What's up, YouTube? Back in my day, we didn't have no damn fancy cameras doing video shoots. Hell no, all we had were puppets on strings and we danced around. We liked it. We loved it. Hallelujah. <laughs> This is Jeff, the cameraman, a.k.a. Dad. We're going to find out what Sam's got going for you this week. Well, it looks like my dad just took over my YouTube channel, but my name is Sam, a.k.a. Sam the Cameraman, and if you guys haven't, make sure you are subscribing and hit that bell notification because why not? Each and every week we're coming out with new DaVinci Resolve tutorials and some gear reviews, and we're just dropping some really cool videos. Today, we are going to be going over how to do a green screen effect in DaVinci Resolve. All right, before we get into this tutorial, if you're looking for these little nifty masks and you're having a hard time finding them, my wife's been making these high quality, easy to wear, comfortable masks. The link is in the description. Check out her Etsy shop. They're made right here in the United States and they're fast shipping, fast production. So do not miss out. And you know what? Who doesn't want a little extra guard as they're going out and braving the elements with what's going on in the world. So make sure you guys are checking it out. Links in the description. Let's get into this DaVinci Resolve tutorial. All right, guys. So now that we are back in here again inside of DaVinci Resolve, let's go over how to remove the green from this background or let's learn how to do a green screen effect. So as you guys can see, I have both my clips here in the timeline. I have this little tiger on a green background and then I have this cool little geometric pattern that just kind of, I don't even know, just kind of loops around. But anyways, we can do the, do this a couple different ways. I like to use Fusion. You can do it in the color tab, but I'm going to show you guys the two different ways that I would go about doing this effect within Fusion. First, what we can do, instead of bringing both these clips into Fusion, we'll just bring just the tiger into Fusion right now. So if you just have your playhead over the tiger, click on the tiger and then click on your fusion tab all right now that we're in fusion we can see we have our tiger clip and only our tiger clip in here and what we want to do is just click on this little square up here so we can see more of the tiger and make it a single viewer and i'm going to right click on our media one i'm going to come up to rename i'm going to rename this tiger all right now if we just hit if we select our tiger node and we hit shift spacebar what that's going to bring up is our select the tool menu and we're going to type in key and that's going to bring up all the different keying options we have we have chroma key or delta key or difference key or luma key or, and ultra key what i love to use for doing green screen or solid color removals is the delta key so you want to select delta key and push add and that's instantly going to drop this right into our uh, node tree or node pipeline right here we want to select our delta key come over here to the inspector and if this isn't popped up and it looks like this just hit the inspector right up top in the right hand corner and all of this will pop up all your controls to remove the green from the background all you want to do is right right here on the right where it says background color hit the little dropper click it and hold it and drag it onto the green and it instantly removes the green and because this is an animated tiger and this is like a animated uh, green screen it's a perfect key right away it takes all the green away and if we scroll in by holding control in the scroller wheel we can see that there's no green fringe on any of the tiger however when you're doing it with people and there's light and there's green you know green screen bleeding and all that and light bounces off onto a person it can uh, get a little tricky to key that out. So what you can do is play with all, if you go over up here, you can play with all these different settings. We can turn up the soft range. We can turn up the erode. If you come over here to the mat, we can turn up and down the threshold. And there's all kinds of different controls that you can use and play around with when keying this out to fine tune all of your edges and fine tune the key that you uh, created. So. I, would, I recommend coming up here and, and playing around with these uh, controls. You can do the pre-blur, you can control the balance. You know, every, There's so much you can do within just the Delta keyer to fine tune your, uh, your key. All right, now that we're back in the edit page, you can see that everything is keyed out, our background's in there, and we have our tiger right in the foreground. And I know a lot of gamers use 
green screen backgrounds when they're gaming and they kind of like have their self in the right hand corner even some video editors that do tutorials do this as well and sometimes when people are doing this they like zoom in real quick. the way they do this is they, they stack their clips they have their background here and they key this out and they have it on top just like that and they now if your inspector tab is open you can see we can zoom in on this tiger we can zoom out on this tiger we can reposition it and this is how they control their when they zoom in really quick on their themselves if like something funny happens or if there's something scary that happens they would just have their self down here make a couple cuts and then they would just zoom it in big cut it and then zoom it back out to where it was so that is how you can control the tiger within the edit page like so and there's actually one other way we can do this and this is the way I would use it if I'm compositing a whole bunch of different images with these green screen backgrounds what I, you would want to do is select both of your clips and you want to right click them and you're going to push up here and you're going to go up here and you're going to hit new fusion clip and once your fusion clip is created make sure your playhead is over your fusion clip and just hit fusion all right, now that we're back here in Fusion, we can see that we have our media in one, media in two, we have a merge node, and we have media out. So let's stretch these out, give us a little bit more room. And we wanna make sure that our background and our foreground nodes are exactly what, they, what we want them. So if you don't know what your background and your foreground is, you can just hover over these green and yellow little arrows. Green will always be foreground, yellow will always be background. So we want to see our background. So if you click on your media one, and we want to see what our background is, we want to just click it and drag it up into the viewer. And that's going to be our little geometric shape pattern. So that's how we want it. Now if we can do that with our media one or media two and just drag it up into our viewer, it's going to be our tiger. And that's going to be our foreground. We have those set up exactly how we want them. All right, now if we want to make sure we put our final product back in our viewer so we can see what's going on drag it just click it and drag it back on in and it's not going to change at all but the way you can tell that it's up there is that you can see down here there's a little white dot that's set telling you it's in our second viewer and right now we are only seeing our second viewer if you want to see both your viewers come back up here and hit the split screen and we got two up there but we only need to see the one all right so the first thing you want to do is you want to click your foreground node, which is going to be our tiger, which is what we're seeing, and hit shift spacebar again, and then make sure we type in keyer, or just key, and we want to select our delta keyer once again, here, so select add, and with our delta keyer selected, what we want to do is come over here to the background color, just like we did before, select the green, and just like that, our green screen is gone and like I said if you're doing a person or an object where there's a little bit of spillage onto the the person or the object where you got to go in and fine-tune your edges you can come up here you know control yourself soft range and your blur and you can control your blur in here we'll blur our edges just a little bit and that's all we really need to do on this image right here and the reason that bringing both of your images into fusion like this would be crucial is if you're trying to composite like a scene so if you did if you shot like you know if you're doing like a tv you wanted to composite into a screen you could come track your background layer and you could place that tv in your scene and you could composite things in any sort of way so if you're like trying to create a, in a whole new environment you'd want to bring in all of your footage into fusion so that way you can track your background layer with planar trackers or camera trackers and that way you can place in different objects or different items or different people into your scene all right guys so that is how you do the green screen effect in davinci resolve actually we're not in public but anyways yes that is how you do the green screen effect in davinci resolve get a nice clean key it's not too hard and the options are endless as long as you have a green screen you can do literally anything and it's super cool and it allows you to composite your images in such a unique way so like i said if you guys haven't make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on all the new tutorials and content we'll be dropping and also giveaway announcement will be on Friday. So do not miss out on this opportunity. We're gonna be giving away. I'm not, you know what? I'm not gonna actually tell you what we're giving away. Friday, I'll be announcing everything we're giving away. It's gonna be really cool. I got a lot of neat things for you guys. And uh, we're almost to 2000 subscribers. So thank you, thank you to everybody who has been 
subscribing to the channel, following along, leaving comments, and checking all our content out. You guys are making this all possible, and thank you to each and every one of you, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next tutorial.